Hi everyone, I have exciting news to share with you. Over the last few months I've been working on a revised edition of my second book, Tablet Weaving in Theory and Practice, Vacant Hole Pinwheels, and it's finally ready to share. In this new edition, you'll find all new photography, completely reformatted drafts to make them larger on the page and easier to work from. You'll also find updated explanations and a much, much larger history section about vacant hole bands and how they've been woven throughout the years. Now, each of these motifs that you can see on the front cover are either inspired by some of the motifs from the Hildesheim Cope, which is at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, UK, or they're kind of remixes of those motifs. So uh, let's see if we can see one here. Ah, there we go. So that pinwheel is my own design, but it's based on one of the S shapes that you'll find on the Hildesheim Cope. Now this edition also comes with one new draft, which is here. It's this one. Now, if you already have the first edition of this book and you'd rather not buy a whole new book just for the one extra draft, you can find this one on my blog. I've shared it for free, like many of my other drafts, and it's called Clover. And it'll have the turning diagram, that's this one here, as well as the threading diagram to tell you how to thread the tablets. And if you're unsure as to whether you want to buy the book, and you'd like to have a look and try out one of the drafts, this would be a good one to have a play with. Uh, thank you for listening and I wish you good luck in all your own tablet weaving.